Hello friends. How are you? Happy Tuesday, I believe. I believe it's Tuesday. It felt like a Tuesday today. Did you have a good day? I feel like I've been running around. Maybe because I have been for the last few minutes. Um, so as you're hopping on, if you could say hello, let me know where you're watching from. And um, I have a pretty cute project that I've done a lot of preparation for. So hi, Trish. Thanks for coming. Um, a little bit later tonight because I found something for you. And I'll show you a little bit later, but I found your, found your hoodie. Um, that'll be for another project that we do. And thank you. And let's see if I can get out of my own way here. So we had a dud candle. This one was dud. I had to replace it. But this is the project that we did last night. I think it's really held up well. I love it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I always love it when a project turns out that way. And let's see, what do we add to our display so far? So that's what we've become in, kind of been working on as we've gone through these some of these new transfers. So I found this little cutie pie at Walmart. Isn't she sweet? And she was like three dollars. She even has a little tail. I think it's unbelievably cute. Look at her. The ears were positioned like just right. That's why I couldn't. So we've got some things that I made and we're kind of working this direction. Um, so tonight's project um, and if you wouldn't mind um, following the directions at the bottom of my screen, that, that does help me out if you can. Um, thank you for the compliments on the room. Still a lot, long way to go. This little corner is pretty organized though, I have to say. Pretty happy about that. Um, I am not going to go up in the corner. I am going to show you my desk. And we're going to get to getting because a little bit of a longer project. Not, not terribly long, but I'm going to hold this up. This is what we're working on tonight. So this is a bistro spinner sign that I got for like 50% off. It used to be red. I painted it white. And... Comes apart, as I recall, and this slips right out. So we're just going to take the actual sign portion and put it over on our project tray, and we're going to work with this piece on the front and on the back, and then we're going to decorate it. So. I'm actually going to put my fuzzing tail down so you can see this thing. And hopefully maybe it won't slip around. Okay, so I thought Noreen was going to join us. Um, I hope she does. And I'll show you my desk. And we'll get to getting. Okay. All right, there's my desk. Sorry for that hot spot. I'm still working out the um, the foot room, the lights. Um, I think it's a lot better than it used to be, or so I'm told. I don't think that's as annoying. But I do need that light to work, so we're just going to have to kind of roll with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is... 
So I've got two transfers for you. So this is the Farm Charm one. Its actual name is Farm Charm. I've taken the time to go ahead and cut it apart. It comes like this with this big letters. I don't know if it's all going to fit, but we're going to try. And then you get a cow, a horse, a pig, and a sheep to kind of stack up on one on top of each other, which is what we're going to do. And if we can, we're going to take the chicken from Feels Like Home. This is from the same collection. So some of the things we have are called chalk stories. Um, and we're going to put him on the tippy top. So I was hopeful that we could get, we might only get farm on here. But I don't know. It's possible. I wanted to get farm charm. And it's certainly not long enough, but it might be wide enough if I get it all the way over. Because I'd have about that much room. Yeah. All right. So we got some working out to do. So I think we ought to do the fun part first. I'm worried about the words later. So I want to put the stockiest guy on the bottom and I'm going to move this up so you can see it and then the horse and then the pig and then the sheep and then we can probably fit that little chicken up top there so they're going to stack up so I just need some help picking some colors so I have some uh, put aside. I'm gonna put this on the side until we get to it. Um, so for the horse, I was thinking Dune for some reason, and for the cow, cow, I was thinking maybe gray, and then the pig, I was thinking peachy keen, which is the light pink, and then the sheep. This is golden hour. It's the color of the word of the honey, so it might be a little bit much. Um, I think I need a different shade in there. And it's on black, so that's my other concern, is I want it to be able to show up. Um, so I do have pistachio, and I have golden hour, and then I have white. So, what do you think of my color selections first? I mean, we could do... I think these are too close. I think I can do like that. And then maybe we can have a green little chicken. I don't know. Or maybe we'll do a white chicken. We'll see. Um, nobody's talking to me or in the chat, so... I'm going to roll with it. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to try and keep these guys in order so I don't mess up. And I think it actually goes this way, yeah. Pink. Because each one of these has got to get fuzzed as we go along. All right, so this color is called grayish. It's a gray. White for what? All of it? Some of it? Chicken? You know, I have another gray, too. I have Storm. I just thought this would be lighter, softer. This is old formula paste. So wait for what? For everything? For the sheep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. And then maybe Yeah, that makes sense. All right, this is looking a lot better. I'm sorry, some of these colors I don't get to as often, but now that I'm trying to do stuff every day. Guys, I saw the cutest project today and I had to go to Walmart and find a component of this project. And I'm so happy to report that it only cost a dollar and I got one. Well, I got more than one. I cannot tell a lie. All right. So as big as this desk is, I always need more room. Isn't that crazy? All right, so I've just got the other fuzzing towel over here and we're going to start off with our cowl and these are all new transfers so we're going to have to fuzz them and I know you can't really see that part but certainly know how to do that. And before I go any further, this is not a chalk couture surface. The rule is to protect your transfers that anything that is not a chalk couture surface you need to wax. Um, I just don't want to ruin this transfer because I want to be able to use it quite a bit. And although I painted everything, I don't recall if I waxed it. So let's just take a quick sec and do that. my paper towel. Okay, and since we're going to do both sides, we'll take the opportunity so we don't have to fool with this any longer. So how was your day, Trish? I was going to call you and then I fell asleep. I have a later start today too, which kind of messes me up. I get used to getting up and then, but I, I have to tell the truth. I was, I was happy for an additional hour's sleep this morning. All right, so that's how you wax. You literally just put it on and buff it off. And it probably looks a little streaky, but that, that doesn't matter. That'll go away. I almost think that this is metal. So, hi, Loki. Oh, Trish, be on the lookout for a package. For Loki. From me. I just didn't want a strange package showing up and thinking it was not okay so I think I'm gonna come up just the tiniest bit because we've got that white piece and actually let's check this let's check this real quick hi Nor thank you get him like he's standing on this piece. Oh, I think that's pretty close. I'm just marking it for myself. All right. I do spoil him, but I saw something and I and I, had, I got a good discount on it and I know it was something that you wanted for him and I took a shot. What can I say? 
I got one for Beth's dog too. I have to tell her. Oh, let's get this crap off the back. Where did that come from? How's he doing with the um, boots, I guess you call them? I mean, it, it's warmed up a little bit. Thank the Lord for that. Okay, that's up a little higher than I wanted, but we're going to fit them all in. All right, here we go. First one. We're going to have a gray cow. It doesn't take much, I'll tell you. Okay. He's doing great? Good. I'm glad. All right, so I got my dryer right here. All right, next up is the horse. the lights from my camera or what but yeah I bet I bet it did okay so this is the horse I'm glad he's facing the opposite direction all right what color girls I'm trying to keep this like farmhousey I don't think it really matters if they'll I was gonna do them in the in the yellow just because it kind of reminds me of a the color reminds me of a Palomino that I actually owned I had a Palomino Appaloosa horse named Odie and he was kind of a tannish yellowish color crap all over this towel. This has got to go in the washer tonight. There's no if ands, or buts about it because I keep pulling crap off of it. Okay. That feels nice and dry. Don't worry about that wax. All right. Now I want to try and pull his feet right on the back oop come on now gotta fit his nose on ooh that's tight Because the cow's got like a hump. So I got to actually put both feet on them. And when I do that, it's like stepping on his ear. And then I lose his nose. Okay. A 
like so. This is going to be a little, oh, we'll see about that one. I have a beige, that's the dune. I think we need some color up in here though, just personally. Look, if we hate it, here's the great thing, we can take it off. All right, golden hour horse. This is the new formula paste. I mean, just right out of the jar. It's like great. Don't get your nosy that I worked so hard for. All right. enough this foot's out in Neverland but I think it has to be and I did pull up some of the gray so I should have waxed in between but to me it looks rustic I'll touch it up with my paintbrush all will be fine I don't mind that though Hi, Lila. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it when you sprinkle. Okay. We are going to be a little bit more careful with the pig. <laughs> Well, for one, his feet all seem to be in the same area. It's two-sided, it is. Um, it was, I believe, a Hobby Lobby find. Um, and I painted it. It used to be red. I got it 50% off. We're going to see if we can fit the chicken from Feels Like Home on the tippy top. And I have the Farm Charm words, which might fit on the back if I strategically do it, but we're going to try. So far, I have to say I like how it's coming out. All right, pig has to be pink in my world. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm just going to try not to tack it down too much. All right, this is peachy keen, and I've never used it. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Probably have to add some water. This is the old formula paste, but it works really well. Just takes a little extra love, that's all.
come on now. How did I get that wet? I have to watch this part because I notice I'm pulling up the yellow. And you could put a piece of tape down too, which, you know, isn't as sticky. But I just try to not press in that little area. Yes. Trisha loves pink. I think a pink pink for sure. Oh, that's way too much, but it's kind of like clumpy, so I want to be able to spread it out. I love this transfer. It's from the Farm Charm set uh, or chalk story, they call it. And I will post a link to all the products that I used once I'm finished. Okay, that is a leaf going across. All right, now we have a pig. Now, according to Trisha, we must have a white sheep. I don't disagree. This is a really pale pink. I probably could have gone darker, but I think it'll look all right. Okay, here is our sheep. Gonna fuzz them up. I'm gonna take the little bit of wax that's on here. See that quick, it's dry. This one should be ready to go. And the good news is, is I think we can fit the chicken because this one's going the right direction. All right, apply a little bit of fuzz. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up to try and line this up. Lila, did you get all your work done for your scrap away? sounds like a lot of fun. I, I did enjoy it though. I was able to attend one time back in the day. Candy Bright and I were roommates and we made some friends at that event that were that I know Candy is still in contact with. I wish I could say I was. Um, we had never met them before. It was really a, a great event. And had I realized it was up for sale, I would have tried to get involved, but I think I'm too far up. So Lila put is I'm not sure of the arrangement, but is has been involved with a great scrapbooking retreat that takes place at the Splanders Hotel in Ocean City every year. All right, here we go. And I think it's it's a great event. I remember the food was fantastic. I wonder how they're, being a hotelier myself, I wonder how they're gonna go about that. We've had some challenges at my place with food and beverage. So any tips, I would love to hear about it from a prof on a professional basis. 
<laughs> okay, there's the white little sheep. And this is a mess, so we're going to get that out of my way. All right, it's very, um, what's the word? I don't want to say bland, <laughs> but, it, but it is kind of bland. We're going to have to like jazz it up somehow. All right. And let's dry this up and we can fit that chicken. Unfortunately, he's going the same way as the sheep, but chickens never do what you want. Did you know I grew up on a farm? Yep. I did. I rode horses forever and ever. All right. So are we going to pop some green? We're going to have a green chicken. What do you think? I need a color that goes with this mess. Eucalyptus? Maybe the pistachios too. I don't know. I love that pistachio color. I think it goes well. Yeah, I'll try and do a colorful bow for sure. So this is the Feels Like Home transfer that has the little chicken on the top. And that's the only portion that we're going to use. We'll save the rest of it for another day. And this one's pretty sticky, so I'm going to have to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flip this around. I know it's upside down for you all, but I want to be able to hold this up so it doesn't take all the stuff off of our sheep. And I'm going to do a tiny little bit of wax. And we're going to give that a minute to cure. Orange. Orange. Okay. Yeah, I have a guava for the chicken. All right, let me grab that before and let's let's fuzz this some more all right that's a good idea orange orange you know i have a shimmer melon but we don't have any other shimmers and i think that would look a little strange um so let's make sure i get paste i think that would work because this is that's that's guava it's more of a pinky and this is orange peel which is like bright so why don't we go the guava route? I think that's a good idea. And it's new. But it's old formula, I'm sure. But it's not too bad. Alright, do we like that color? I think it'll go. All right, beautiful. Good catch. All right, I'm still going to try and do this upside down, which is going to be a challenge. But, you know, when did I ever do anything easy? Not recently. That's for darn sure. All right, so he's got one foot down. Ooh. And one foot up, and his head is like 
right there on the button. So we're just going to smooth that bit down. And I'm going to use this tool. And there's no going back. Well, there is going back because it's not ink. But Is that your foot tripping? Yes. Ah, all right, let's clean that up. Whew! We just made it with him. I'll show you. You can see he's like right on the button. Right on the button. Can you see it? My camera's in a new place, but I'm glad he's on there. I think he's kind of leading the pack. I think it looks good. All right, let's dry that. Let's do our couple of touch-ups. Because, you know, I'm seeing every spot that lifted. <laughs> and I'm unhappy with that. But I will say, not too many did. Pretty much our cow. But I notice anytime you have a lot of open area and you don't wax like like I failed to do, um, you know you run that risk. But it's easily fixed. Easily, easily fixed. So I have two favorite paintbrushes. This one. Alright, so let's find our grayish. And all I'm going to do is fix up here because that's all open space on the transfer and it will bother me. And I once heard a fellow designer say, if it bothers you, you should fix it. So I have the best luck with pouncing my paintbrush. And not, not today. Oh, goodness gracious. This is hysterical. So we might have to do this in layers. And I might have to scrape it back and do it again. Or he just might be more rustic. You know, maybe he's been out in the pasture a long time. I don't know. He's got vines growing on him. <laughs> oh, Laura, will you crack yourself up? I have to be careful because oftentimes I think I'm helping myself. And I'm not. And when the paste is this consistency, it makes it a little more difficult. Because it's chalk. You know, it's like it's dry. Excuse me, I left my water in the other room. I was trying to get on here for you guys. All right, that's a little better. Let's see. Much better.
just it felt like he had gaping holes. Well, he's the only one, really. The horse has got one little one there, but he's got like a big schmush right there. All right. We're going to dry this. We're going to see how we like it. If we hate it, you know, this whole sign is only for us, so I'm not too worried about it. If I was going to sell this one or something, I would fiddle with it until it's perfect, but I'm not going to do that. Good call on the orange. like flaking off so <coughs> knowing me <coughs> I'll clean the transfer and I'll scrape it back and I'll do it again but for tonight and that's why I like chalk couture because you can you can do that if you're not happy with something or you didn't line it up quite perfect you get another shot at it so there's our animal stack this is pretty hot so I wanted to see if I could fit farm charm on here and I think I have to do it in two pieces like farm and then start charm down here at least that's what I think <coughs> and we're going to keep it simple I think we're going to do it in white I've already waxed this And my fuzzing cloth is so dirty. That I'm flipping it over onto the drying side. So I think we got to do it this way. Like get this up as close as we possibly can. Oh yeah. Is it straight? Alright, where's the button? We're going to assume that that's the metal. But that can come over more or it's not going to fit. Come on. Because of that R. Alright, I'll get it here in a second. I don't know if it's going to fit. And it doesn't seem straight to me. Let me try it this way. There we go. Alright, that's absolutely as far over as I can get. I'm not going to worry about this guy. We might put him in elsewhere. Where's the white? Oop. <coughs> Did I put the white back? Really? Okay. Maybe I 
again. I must have. This is the, the one I was using, I really like though. <coughs> I think. All right. It's happened, girls. I've officially lost it. Let's do this. Did it fall off the table? I didn't put it back over there. Did I drop it? Come on now. Does that sink? Really? This is on now. It's not on the floor. I capped everything. Tiding. Sorry. All right, here we go. These are supposed to be kind of, in some areas, rough, oh, look at that, rustic looking letters. All right, so we're not going to mess with it too much. Okay, there's form. I'm sorry. Losing my weight threw me out of the frame. I'll fix up that little bit. All right, what time is it, Nor? I can almost tell when it's eight o'clock or shortly thereafter because I start to get tired. All right, can I tuck the H in there? And then the M's on, oh, I can come down lower. Yes, I can. I can even come down lower than that. All right, so let's. Pop it right there. And those little branches I'm going to do separately. I hope my white case comes. I'm down to the bottom of the barrel. Have I lost everybody? I'm sure. This is taking a little longer than we thought, but I think it's going to be a cute project. So thanks for hanging in there with me as I'm trying out new things, new lights, new way of broadcasting, new room. You know, it's all the new things. But I am, I am enjoying trying it all out, I have to say. Uh. 
Okay, so we got charm on there. And it's fairly straight. So I thought we could just take those leaves like there and call it good. And then we'll dress it up. And I'm here to show you what not to do because I should have dried it. And I'm hoping that it's not sticking. I think we got away with it. All right, so I would wash the transfer and probably put some more on. Um, yeah, we might be able to get... Ah, uh, we're living on the edge. Let's see if we can get one over here. I don't recommend you do this. But, like I say, this is the new formula paste, which doesn't, you know, it doesn't get clumpy. It's a, it's a lot easier to work with, so you can probably get two passes out of the silk screen. We're going to find out, um, but you probably should wash it. That's not too bad. <clears throat> I think it's cute. I mean, the sea is a little light, to be honest, from my taste, but if I had new formula paste, it would look a little bit better. Or I could put some more water in it, but I'm liking the rustic feel, so I'm just, I'm going to go with it. so I can set this down so I can stop doing the things one-handed. Okay. And we're just going to dry this up. Thank you, Noreen. Noreen is my rooster. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's put what needs washing over here. And let's bring this bad boy back into frame. I think what we're going to do is, yeah, it's pretty cute, I gotta say. I'm probably my own worst critic, to be honest. But, all right. So I'm gonna put the camera on me so you can see it. Hi guys. All right, so here is the back. And then there's our animals. I think it's pretty cute. <coughs> Cockadoodle do goofball. You are my rooster though. I would be late to work every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
work for you. Okay, so I think it definitely needs some cute ribbon. But I have to say, I really like it. And this actually sits a little further into the frame. So that's how you can updo, you know, if you don't like the color of something, just chalk paint it. I mean, this was, this was maybe one coat, one, maybe one and a half coats. All right. So it definitely needs some ribbon. All right. So black, white. I don't have any yellow in it. So if I do, it's in the other room. So I might just have to be boring and do what we always do. <clears throat> Where's my other? Come here. Like it too. I mean, there are some areas that I can improve upon, but I I really like it. That's what I say every time I do something with chalk couture. I learn something. And I don't know about you, but I love learning stuff. All right, I think that's about all the relatable ribbon that I have over here. There are other colors. It probably needs a little sanding. And I think I'm going to I kind of feel like it needs something around the top, but I'm not sure if bow is it. <clears throat> oh, I don't like that at all. All right, redo. I mean, I like these three together, but I just don't like how it was coming out. Let's get some twine. That's maybe what it needs. Maybe some beads on the top. Or a tag hanging off of it. see here. I have a hard time talking when I'm fluffing a bow. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's like a walk and chew gum kind of thing. But this is looking better already, so I'm just going to tie this around the bottom. And I 
I can't see it yet. Hang on. We're almost there. I'll continue to play with the belt, probably. But that does add a little bit of pizzazz to it. I think. Let me get my camera. So that's what we've got for you. I probably maybe do a little tag or something off the top. But I think it looks good with either side. This is what I've wanted to do since I saw the transfer and I saw this spinner. I knew what I wanted to do with it. So thank you so much for your help in trying to pick my colors. I think it's really, really cute, and it's going to become part of our background for the time being as we kind of transition over. I think it's pretty cute. So we'll get to some St. Patrick's Day things coming up. Um, I have I have some home projects tomorrow or maybe to, or I think we're gonna do a home project tomorrow night so if you can um, join me tomorrow night um, I would love that um, like I said I will pop a link down below for um, all the products that I used um, not the spinner stand we do have one it's this size. Um, you wouldn't be able to stack all the animals up, but you could get maybe two or three. Um, but, you know, repurpose your stuff. Um, I saw a couple of great ideas today that I'm gonna incorporate as well this week. So my intention is to try and do, I'd like to do a 30 minute live, you know, every night about seven, 7.15, um, Monday through Friday. We're gonna see if I can keep up with that. Um, you know, I do start have an early shift at work, so I get up at five o'clock in the morning, which is why it's got to be done over and out by you know seven thirty, eight o'clock, so I can get ready for bed. I'm already running behind tonight, and I still have to go care for my mother. So. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you will sprinkle the live. I hope that you're enjoying um, this journey with me. Um, I love learning about how it all works and I love sharing it with you. So if you'd like any more information, you can always message Creekside Creations right here on Facebook. Um, there are a couple of things for you that if you put in hashtag shop, you'll get a link direct to my, to my store. If you put in um, hashtag club, it'll tell you all about Club Couture, which is the best happy mail around. Um, and it's very affordable. And if you just like to try it out, um, there are try me kits available at, in my shop too um, that you might enjoy as well. And um, then the last one is has hashtag join. And I just wanted to reiterate that we made last night's project with pieces that come from the designer kit. This transfer, those colors, that board, the chip, you would get all of that. Um, and you would be able to make that very same project and if, you, if you signed up. And I would love to have you sign up. So if you need any information, I'm always available and um, I'm shooting to see you about 7.15 tomorrow evening. All right, and I'll have another project. So thanks very much, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.